ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ the top surface you have a shape particular shape say for example square as well as the bottom base also you have a same square shape you can make a difference between prism as well as pyramid in the prisms you have a bottom base a same shape wherein in prisms you have a base a particular shape say for example square when it comes to top surface in case of prisms you have a square but in case of pyramids you have an apex say for example a square prism is placed in this way i will come to the condition later now if i look from the top this will be a b c d and whatever the base part will be a1 b1 c1 and d1 when i look from the top this part is clearly visible so i will write it all these things in a b c d when it comes to the base part since it is not visible from the top i just write all these things in a bracket say for example a bracket a1 b bracket b1 c bracket c1 d bracket d1 and when it comes to axis o bracket o1 from the top you now when you look from the front this rectangle face is clearly visible if this is a this is a1 if this is b and this is b1 so a a1 is visible b b1 is not visible whatever the things comes that is c c1 d d1 to be written in a bracket coming to the problem it is same as a pyramids so in the type 1 we have first one first condition is edge or side and second condition is axis or axis inclination and third condition is the same resting edge inclination one thing you need to keep in mind whether it is prism or pyramid conditions wise in the type 1 it remains same the only change is if i change this prism i can replace this with pyramid then it will be a different problem coming to the first problem a square prism 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on hp on one of its edges of the base so first condition goes to edge condition which is inclined to vp at 30 degree so this goes to the third condition draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree this is your second condition so have a look to the right side reference it is resting on hp with one of its edge from the front view it is clear a rest a rectangle so since it is resting on hp we will need to start the things from the top view top view falls always on hp we will start the problem draw one square for 35 mm sides so right side reference this is an edge and this center is calculated just to show the axis line ensure you don't highlight this part it should be very thin line in case of prisms when it comes to naming a b c d for the top and when it comes to the bottom i will write this in bracket a1 b1 c1 and d1 next from all these points project to the xy line after projecting from the center you raise the height this is o dash and o1 dash since it is a prism from all the sides you raise the respective given height so after projecting we need to draw this particular way so this height is 60 mm ensure you draw all these thing with a dark line next when i look from the front in the top surface a is clearly visible d is not visible so this will be a dash of d dash and when it comes to this b is visible 
C is not visible. So this is B dash of C dash. Similarly at the bottom A1 is visible. D1 is not visible. So this will be A1 dash of D1 dash. And similarly this B1 dash of C1 dash. Have a look. When I look from the top all these points are clearly visible. And these base points are not visible. So accordingly it is named. When I look from the front. These two points are visible that is A and B. C, D is not visible so it is written in bracket. Similarly A1 and B1 is visible. C1 and D1 is not visible so it is written in the bracket. Coming to the third, second condition. The axis is inclined at an angle 45 degree to HP. Right now have a look it is making 90 degree. So you can clearly make a note. If it is resting this way, the axis will be exactly perpendicular to horizontal plane. Then the axis is making an angle 90 degree. Now you need to rotate such that it makes an angle 45 degree. This rotation can be viewed from the front. So I will start somewhere from here. As usual you draw this line. So we have already learned this from pyramids. So this is supposed to be 90 minus the given angle. So that is 45 degree. So 90 minus 45 is 45 degree. You draw a line for 45 degree. And call this point as B, B1 dash of C1 dash. And measure from this B1 dash to O1 dash. Mark this and call this O1 dash. Next from the same B1 dash measure A1 dash. Mark this and call this as A1 dash of D1 dash. Next from all these points. Draw 90 degree lines. Next measure from B1 dash to B dash. This length remains same for O1 dash as well as for this since all the heights are same. You can cut an arc from all these points and join this, name this accordingly. So this is how you need to draw. Next extend this particular till XY line and measure this. This angle will be for 45. Next from all these points project down and from all these points project to the right side. So after projecting you can show this directions. Now the top surface is A, B, C, D. Meet the points accordingly. This is A, B, C and D. When it comes to base part this is A1, B1, C1 and D1. So axis this is O1 and this is O. You can remove this extra projection lines. After completing this, the boundary part is starting from say A1, B, C, D1. This is a boundary. First you highlight this. Next when I look from the top, top face is clearly visible. So highlight this part. And similarly, this base part is not visible. So I will be writing this base in a dotted line. That is first highlight that the boundary part. Next, if I look from the top, top face is clearly visible. So I will draw this with a continuous line. Since base part is not visible, so I will draw this with a dotted line. Next. O to O1 I will draw an axis line. So that is when a solid is tilted this particular way. When I look from the top this face is clearly visible. So I have drawn this with a continuous line. And when it comes to base part from the top view it is not visible. So I will be writing this with a dotted. And in the solids you should remember all the boundary lines should be in a continuous line. Coming to the third condition, when I look from the top, this is a resting edge. It is making an angle 90 degree with respect to vertical plane. Have a look. It is making 90 degree this particular edge. So now in this position also it is making 90 degree. That is this edge is exactly perpendicular to this plane, vertical plane. Now you rotate such that this makes an angle. If I project this particular way, it should make. 30 degree with respect to the vertical plane from the top view. You rotate such that from the front the base part should be visible. 
same as your pyramids draw a line for given angle that is 30 degree next this is the resting edge to be inclined measure from b1 to c1 b1 to c1 mark this b1 and c1 next have a look it is making an angle 90 degree so what i do is just draw 90 degree lines this particular way next measure from b1 to a1 mark here call this as a1 so the length remains same c1 to d1 also measure that and call this as d1 and join this next from this particular d1 to c you measure and mark this and complete this again this b to a you measure and mark so this point is b and a and again c to d measure and mark and ensure you will make a replica of this so this supposed to be a dotted line keep in mind next after all this thing from b1 to this point so i will call it as 1 measure to 1 draw one 90 degree line to this particular next from point number 1 to measure o1 mark this o1 and remove this extra part similarly same from point to measure o mark this and call this o and remove this extra part after completing this figure one thing you need to remember this figure should not intersect xy line and ensure you will draw this line dotted next after completing this from all these points that is a1 b1 c1 d1 and from a b c d project up and from all these point project to the right side after projecting all the points these lines look bit clumsy you need not to get panic make the points carefully you are already trained enough in the pyramids so have a look after projecting a is meeting here that is a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash so you got the base part and again from this this is your a dash b dash c dash and d dash so you got the top surface and this is your o dash next when it comes to the boundary starting from a dash a dash b dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash and d dash this forms a boundary after highlighting the boundary from the front view since base part is clearly visible same as your pyramids you highlight that so after highlighting base part same as the pyramids have a look this is continuous a1 dash is continuous because it is not dividing the base c1 dash is dotted because it is dividing the base so one point you need to remember here c dash is a dotted line till c dash c1 dash to c dash next meet this b dash and d dash with the dotted lines because this top surface is not visible from the front view this completes your problem